So space. <laughs> so, okay. Like, even if you're on the ISS, right? There's no gravity, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> I don't know why I thought of this. If you fart in space, does it just always smell? Oh, what what like makes what dissipate? makes what makes farts <laughs> like go away? I know it's probably like they drift away in the wind, but there's no That's wind in think. space. No wind. So it's like is this going to be <laughs> what I smell? For Maybe the it next doesn't smell year? the same. I don't know. Yeah, I bet it smells different because like the oxygen and stuff aren't oh, affecting Chuck, it. Looks like he has an answer. <laughs> three three top uh, Google searches uh, when you type in what happens when you fart in. The first thing is a smart car. <laughs> What happens when you fart in a smart car? What happens when you fart in space? What happens when you fart in water? What happens when you fart in a wetsuit? And what happens when you fart in a fire? Oh man, farting in water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's space, do. man. What happens when you do that in space? So in space, uh, clearly. Pitt explains, I don't know who Pitt is, but Pitt is someone who may have gone to space. Uh, there's no convection because there's no gravity. Without gravity, cool air doesn't sink. Warm air doesn't rise. If you fart, he says, the gas stays right there without forcing the air to move. The carbon dioxide you hel- it exhale will hang right in front of you. So does that so mean your fart just lingers? Well, does it mean your fart is just like a bubble of odor right near your butt? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's if crazy. If you fart in zero G, you have a major problem. That is Derek Pitts, the Franklin Institute's chief astronomer. I'm sure that... Yeah astronauts have farted in space also if you're wearing your space suit I maybe guess they got like a special procedure in. to like <laughs> fart somewhere <laughs> like you have fart in a bag <laughs> throw it out into space or something like somebody asked the question uh could you fart in zero g and it propel you like, <laughs> if, like if it's oh, strong <laughs> enough man <laughs> yeah that's that like a would um, be amazing. It's like a thruster uh da, da, da. so again it, i guess it just just the smell there. never lingers, so they must like the filtration, air filtration system in the <laughs> it could space international space shuttle. You got They got to have fans. Station. They got to have a lot of fart fans because yeah. apparently, if it if the carbon dioxide you exhale will hang right in front of you, <laughs> isn't that bad? And too? it could suffocate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could breathe. Yeah. In. So like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're br- you're so breathing in. There have to be fans constantly blowing CO2. in the space station, just like just blowing farts everywhere. So if you're, if, if you're breathing, you get to heaven, they're like, "How'd you die?" Be like, I was uh, in the ISS, I breathed a fart. <laughs> so if off. you breathe into somebody's face consistently, though, in space, because you're breathing, exhaling CO two, can you kill the person? <laughs> like, if you're just like <laughs> right in front of their face. Here's my question, though. All oh, right, man, that's funny. Somebody at NASA had to have this conversation in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. You're like, all right. Okay, guys. So maybe it's classified and people um, have died. Well, uh, if we fart in space, this is a natural bodily function. How are we going to handle this? I'm sure, there was an incident. Yeah. At first. And like, and the, hey, Neil, yeah. Neil <laughs> just farted in my face. I can't <laughs> breathe. And it's staying here. Just, now I'm away. very like, right, interested we'll get you a fan. in finding a book of bodily functions in space. 